So what I'm going to do now is draw out four different sump designs and I want you guys to let me know what you think. Which design works best, which one you use, and if you have any tips and tricks to actually help me create this best design sump filtration system. Let's get started on the first sump design, which is a three chamber sump. So here's my sump tank measures 30 inches long and 12 inches tall and also 12 inches front to back. We're going to divide this up into three chambers. First chamber starting on the left this chamber right here is going to be for my live rock. Let's continue drawing the sump filtration and you'll get the overall picture. This is my skimmer right here. This is going to be my pump. This chamber here is going to be for my live rock. So again, chamber number one, chamber number two, chamber number three. Starts from the left and works its way over to the right. The water from our main display tank is going to be draining in our first chamber. Draining into here. This water is now going to get filtered through all this live rock here. All those pieces of rubble live rock. The rubble live rock is going to be big enough that it doesn't fit underneath this gap here and start flowing into the rest of our sump and again not too small again like I said so it will flow through the rest of our sump we want to make sure that it's you know two three four inch pieces give or take some rubble pieces of live rock we're just going to throw into there it can be dead rock or even live rock it doesn't matter it's whatever you have <clears throat> the purpose of this chamber is to act like a natural springs waterfall the natural springs water actually gets cleaned and purified by the water traveling through the, the, the rock and the waterfall itself. Just by the water being hit and um, you know rubbing up against all those pieces of rock that are coming through the waterfall, that's what actually creates the natural spring water and uh, purifies and cleans the water. So we're going to incorporate that method into our sump filtration system with our live rock in here, our skimmer here, and our return pump. I want to show you more or less where the water level line is going to be. The water level line in our live rock chamber is going to be about this high, which is going to be the same height as the skimmer chamber. The skimmer chamber is going to be from here to here. Our pump chamber is going to be approximately from here to here. We built this des design of the sump filtration according to my skimmer and somewhat along with my return pump. The skimmer is recommended to be in a depth of water between 7 to 9 inches. So therefore, we need to make sure that from here to here is about 7 to 9 inches as that is the recommended depth that the skimmer is supposed to be submerged in, into water. Another thing that we want to find out about our skimmer is what is the footprint size of it. You know, from uh, the bottom, basically from left to right. Is it 10 inches by 10 inches, 12 by 12, 14 by 14? In this case, this skimmer is approximately 10 inches by 10 inches along the bottom. That is the footprint design of the skimmer. So we know that it's going to fit inside the sump, no problem, because our sump is 12 inches high by 12 inches front to back. So that's no issue. Another thing we want to find out is about our return pump. What size is it? 6 inches by 4 inches, 8 by 10 inches. Is it going to fit in our chamber? That's pretty much all we need to figure out. Is the submergible return pump going to fit inside that, skim or inside that last chamber? And it sure is because the return pump we're getting is about maybe 5, 6 inches. And we're going to have a big enough chamber to install that submergible return pump. So back to it here. The water comes down, gets filtered through all this live rock. Once it gets through the live rock, it's going to go underneath this piece of glass and up and over and enter the skimmer chamber. 
This skimmer chamber, now the water is going to come in here, just flow around here. The skimmer is going to suck in some water, push it into the skimmer, and do what the skimmer has to do. By uh, Along with sucking in the water, it's going to be sucking in air or, uh, via the venturi. And then therefore the skimmer is going to operate, do what it has to do, and then it will exit the skimmer most likely via the side, going back into the skimmer chamber. So once that's been filtered through the skimmer, the water is going to go over this piece of glass, down underneath this one, and up over to our return pump chamber. Again, this is a return pump chamber that's going to be pumping all the filtered water back to our main display tank. One, two, three chambers, live rock skimmer, return pump. This is a very simple and basic sump filtration system, and this is our number one design right now. Let's go ahead and work on design number two. I gotta keep on going hard. I'm gonna get the tank I want. Oh, you know it looks so crazy. It's amazing. I've been working all this time. I'm pushing hard on the grind because you know my deserve. 